Back in person. Here we Love go. Love it. Go yeah. Ahead. Love it. For coach. Thanks for coming out. Obviously, um, first day. What are your impressions? Anything? Um, yeah. First day of spring football. So uh, it's a lot of fun being back on the field. I know the players seem to enjoy it. I know the coaches do. Just to get back out here and competing and working on football again. A couple of new faces that were um, showing up a lot out there. Obviously, Rogers is getting a lot of reps at quarterback, and mm -hmm. Callaway. Yeah. It's pretty quick out of the backfield. Yeah. I mean, we're day one practice. No contact. What are you looking for out of your quarterback? Getting better. Getting better. Making great decisions, being accurate with the football, uh, running the offense, leading the offense down the field. Have you noticed anything about ACC football that's different at all? It's d distinctive? No, they got really good teams. <laughs> Style wise? Yeah. I mean, yeah. There's variety, like there is in every conference, but uh, good football teams. What are some of the things you're looking for early in, in spring ball? Um, well, we're, you know, habits, I think, first and foremost, just defensively run into the ball, offensively, our operation, uh, our habits with the football, offensively taking care of it. Was this a bit of an abbreviated practice? I was a little bit shorter, especially early on, yeah. We'll, the practices will get longer as we go. Any uh, thoughts on the acclimation of the, the new DBs that have come in through the portal and JCs? They've done a nice job in winter, and again, it's a lot of fun being out here the first day. You know, always there's always great energy the first day of spring ball, and we need to build on that. You just don't want free, spring ball number one can't be the highlight of the year. You know, it should be the worst we've looked. We need to get better every practice. So the energy and the excitement is noticeable but we have to get better and better. Again, I, I can't imagine that anybody would uh, would like the first spring ball practice to be the, the highlight. How would you expect the competition to play out between uh, Fernando and, and, and Rogers? Um, what are the things that you're looking for to evaluate? Yeah, just repetitions and, as I mentioned before, decision-making, accuracy, leading the offense, helping us score points. Um, I think those are the things. And so we'll keep working with them day in and day out, and uh, we'll make sure that those guys get a, a lot of opportunities. Would you ideally like to have competition go through fall before having a, a clear starter between the two? I don't know that there's, I mean, ideally probably doesn't live in that conversation. It's just whatever happens is going to happen. So we want those guys to come out and compete and get better and focus on improving. And uh, when the time comes and it, it reveals itself, then we'll name the starter. But I'm really not going to put any timeline, especially now, day one of spring ball. So those guys just, I think they're both, I know they're both real eager to, to practice and play football and improve. So that's what we're looking for. Have there been a couple of guys that have stepped up in the off-season leadership capacities on the team? Yeah, there have. I think uh, there's a few guys we recognize this morning. Um, you know, you got the ones that you would probably assume in Craig Woodson, who's been here a long time, uh, good player, got the respect of his teammates. Craig's done a nice job. I think David Reese has really been a guy that's taken that role on. He's a uh, he's got the mentality for this game, and he works and uh, has earned the respect of his teammates. So I think David Reese has been a guy that's been noticeable in terms of a leadership role. Um, you know, Xavier, I think we talked about him uh, in the same way, just taking another step. TJ Session is another one. So, yeah, I think there's been a number of guys that have stepped up in terms of you know, how they communicate with their teammates and, and obviously handling their business, but also encouraging and influencing other people to be better. You talked about it the other day, but what kind of opportunity do, do some of the inexperienced inside linebackers have during spring ball? Well, a lot of them, you know, just because, uh, you know, we're going to get a lot of reps and somebody's got to take them. So all those uh, inside backers are going to get their shot. And what we, you know, what we're real conscious of in spring ball is we're going to make sure we get as much film as we uh, need to get everybody evaluated. You know, we don't want to end spring football and say, boy, I wish we would have got that guy more reps. That can't happen. That won't happen. 
So we'll make sure that everybody gets uh, sufficient reps to be evaluated. So that group's no different. Uh, with some of the freshmen, do you point to someone like Cade and say at this point last year he wasn't going to be what he was? And, and well, Cade wasn't that? even here, right? Cade was here su uh, summer. Sure. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, we wouldn't have known. You know, I think you're always hopeful and you have your educated guesses based on what they did in college or junior college. Um, but I've been doing this long enough now to know that there's always some surprises one way or the other. You know, somebody you thought was a sure thing and man, they're gonna come in and compete right away that for whatever reason, the transition was more difficult for them. And then other guys that uh, you're, hope, you're hopeful, but you know, sometimes you think it might take a little bit, just acclimating to the speed of the game, college game, whatever. And uh, sometimes those guys just, you know, it happens really quickly. Kate's a great example. About six games in, he becomes a starter and man was he productive so um, I think if anybody had a had the formula on that and knew the sure thing I mean people will probably tell you they know but they don't I mean it's just uh, they're young guys that are getting into college and learning and growing and so it's uh, it's not an exact time frame that you can pencil in. I didn't see him out here today do you expect to have K back today? yeah yeah he, he'll be back yeah. do you have a guys out for spring list Yes. Did I read that the other day? No. Here, let me let me give you that. Brian, Lou Hearns, Tyler, Jeremiah, Jernigan, Curly Thomas, Fred Williams, Miles Williams, BMW, and Julian Womack out for spring. Everybody else is either uh, full go or will be during spring ball. Yeah. Okay. Anybody else? All good. All right. Thank you.